automated service topologies. Does it really work? And how much effort goes behind it? These are the questions many organizations ask themselves when it comes to the service mapping product of the item portfolio. Hi, my name is Alex and I'm the Managing Director at Aineram Partners. And today I'm in beautiful Luxembourg and I would like to speak about a topic which is close to my heart, which is doing a pilot and testing service mapping. So come with me. Service mapping. Um, what I'd like to start off with when it comes to a pilot is actually the qualification of pilot services. Because this tends to be a topic which a lot of people struggle a little bit with. So what I would advise here is make sure that the services you use during the pilot are not A, too overly complex, and B, make sure that you actually have documentation available, blueprints, and that they are fairly easy to approach. So basically, qualification of the correct pilot services is largely important to have a successful pilot. All right, so let me give you an example. What I often see is that people tend to suggest, let's go for this very big, complicated service. But unfortunately, what tends to happen then is that a lot of time is spent on trying to map this hugely complex environment. And the bigger picture is a little bit neglected. So the process, the people, and everything around it. Because not everything is about the technical aspects when you do service mapping. What I always ask myself is, can we realistically scale this wide and across the organization? That is for me what the pilot is meant to be answering. And therefore, it's also very important to speak to service owners, to involve them during the pilot, and to think about the process. Let's put this into context because we need to identify the partaking stakeholders for the pilot. Typically, we have one person responsible for the overall service mapping process, the service mapping process owner. This person is accountable for the proper implementation, performance and continuous improvement. Then we have our administrators who know how to build and maintain service maps from a technical point of view. During the pilot, we want to highlight if these roles already exist in some form or if we need to train or hire the right people for this job. Perfect, now let's have a look at the individual mapping efforts. Because once we have identified the services we want to map during the pilot, we should also know the service owners. Knowing their services, they can help us coordinate uh, the mapping efforts by providing documentation and bringing in the SMEs. So clearly, testing out the process, the coordination and modus operandi during the pilot is important. But let's speak a little bit about the technology. So during the pilot, it's equally important to get a fundamental understanding of how fit is our infrastructure to the out-of-the-box patterns available. In other words, how fit is the product service mapping for the type of applications that we are running? Naturally, service mapping is fit for most applications. But what we'd like to try and determine during the pilot is how much development work goes into customizing these patterns and the differences of what service now expect versus your environment and your application stack and how that is configured. Clearly the technical aspect is important but what we want to say here is think broadly, right Alex? Absolutely. So it's really about from start to finish the bigger picture here, meaning qualify the services, select good pilot services, then as well testing the coordination and all the people in the process during the mapping itself. And last but not least, try to benchmark and get that rigid understanding of how much development effort would go into this if we choose to scale it. So as we can see, Executing a successful service mapping pilot is not always that straightforward. But if you want to make sure to be successful, follow Aynaram Partners on LinkedIn, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and keep engaging with us. Thank you so much for watching.